Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's the Mac, and welcome back to Naval Campaigns Kriegsmarine War Game Design Studios and John Tittle Legacy Game as well. Right, so we had a little short introduction video there, just basically talking a bit about Kriegsmarine and the release and some of the features in it. Uh, but the best way to actually show this game is actually play it and go through some of the stuff. So, that's what we're going to be doing this um, starting this episode. Uh, I was talking about actually starting, go through the getting started. I will play that uh, since I've already played it uh, and I've read through the, the documents. I won't be skipping back and forth. I will try and remember what's important to look at and some of the features and what I know about the game interface so far. So we're going to fire that up. And it's recommended that you actually are playing the Germans in this. We're going to put the Allies on automatic fog of war. We're going to be manual. And the rules are not actually um, meant to be uh, implemented in this. So we're just going to keep them. They're actually just uh, optional. Uh, so they just, as I, as I said in the last episode, just sort of add a flavor if you don't want them to be visible and stuff. Um, it will be more sort of scary for you when it, suddenly your ship is hit by a, <laughs> a torpedo and you didn't actually see the sub fire it but okay let's uh, jump into the game here and see yeah so uh first off the bat uh as you can see i have this alternate view on and you can just press this bow and you get the old classic look uh I have actually been practicing a bit with the uh, alternate view, so uh, I'm actually going to be using that. I, I, I like it. It's, it's good. It's good. All right. So here we are. Let's zoom out. Right. So we, we're somewhere in the strait here between England and the, um, the coast of France, I guess. And this is a hypothetical uh, scenario. There is a German fleet bumping into a British fleet, and it's only a half an hour skirmish, basically. And the game plays in real time. So uh, if I press, here is the, the um, game speed. It's actually in zero now, which means that it is uh, paused. And that's uh, real time, and then times two, times three, and you can have up to ten times the um, uh, speed of time there to speed up things if you want to do that. It's also very dangerous. You've got to be careful of what's going on in the field here. Uh, right, so this is the interface. You, as you can see, this is the ocean. You can zoom right in uh, quite close, uh, even though it won't do you any good playing like this because you won't, won't have any overall look. But it's kind of neat. I like the graphics. I like what they've done to the um, icons here. It looks really sweet really nice uh, icons here uh, so you zoom out a bit uh, there's actually I'm not sure what that is I think I have to go back to the alternate interface and and, and there is a um, here is it the normal view. okay you could press the keys of course yeah so four is actually meant to be the normal view there okay so if i go back so this should be the normal view what happens if i press five now all right so i zoom in four is default all right so here's my german fleet right so we'll go over this but for instance this is my main battleship so i'll press it you have a battle cruiser schamhorst and this is the ship right here I went over some of this uh, in the previous, but the yellow is the actual uh, line of what we can actually see. Uh, uh, we, this is what we can see at sea. So it's, I mean, our vision, our visual sort of, um, yeah, what we can see basically. And uh, the black line is the maximum range of our main armaments. So if, I'm just going to see here. We could fire up to 13.6 um, nautical miles, apparently. Uh, it's pretty far. Uh, our visibility is about 15. All right. Uh, now, this here, this is 
orange brownish is our secondary armaments uh, which only will be used for lighter um, enemies crafts not main battle cruisers and stuff but come in it will be used for um, destroyers and stuff uh, this is actually where I can fire my torpedoes and the, so the battleships some battleships not all actually had torpedo tubes that could be fired at uh, certain ranges so here is uh, about 2.5 nautical miles we can fire torpedoes we have three torpedoes on port side and uh, three on, on the stern so to speak starboard sorry port and starboard <laughs> i gotta remember the uh, uh port and starboard sides yeah so they're fixed you can only fire in that sort of range here as you can see uh not really sure what that is uh that might be that the uh, the torpedoes won't be armed until they actually leave that arc could be i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look that up uh, and there's also supposed to be some sort of um range for anti-aircraft fire that maybe could be it that could be the anti-aircraft range i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look it up if you guys know just type in the comments right so that's uh so we have a main battle cruiser we have some um destroyers four of them sailing here uh, let's, let's continue looking at the, the main battle ship so this is my main uh, battle cruiser here um, right so look at the arm this is the important thing so here's a picture uh, you have decreased speed and increased speed you can actually put minimum speed right away or you could put max speed so the ship wasn't actually traveling in max speed max speed is 33 knots apparently but we're traveling at 32 um, here these are for actually turning the ships if I press this you see that yellow arrow uh, it's port side and starboard I can actually issue commands for the ship to turn and you have group port and group starboard so this is the main bat this is the flagship of the whole fleet if I order it to group starboard or group par uh, port side it will um, it, the whole fleet will actually uh, turn with, with the main battleship, uh, the flagship, uh, basically. So this is a flagship for these. This is a flagship. This one is in independent, it seems like. Uh, it doesn't really say here. Just uh, it's, got a, it's, a, it's a flagship as well. The, the Blücher is part of the, these it will be controlled by that uh, you can issue separate commands but that, then the ship will actually start to act on its own or it will leave i guess in this sort of small engagement there's not that many ships involved it would be uh, easier to keep track of that but imagine if you have a massive fleet with lots of ships Starting issuing individual commands for every ship will soon turn into a sort of madness, I think. Uh, let's get back to the Schamhorst. We have, here's something really important. It has a total of nine guns, 280 millimeter big ass guns on the ship. Now, here it says where they can actually fire. So, uh, forward, uh, port side so these are forward guns so two turrets are here on the ship they can fire both forward and on the on the in an arc in, in on the port side and stern side starboard sorry port and, and starboard side and the front and you have, you, they have there's a turret in the back with three guns and they can only fire aft I mean back and on the sides so that's something to keep important because if you're racing towards the enemy like this uh, basically only these six guns can fire at the enemy Th this turret cannot fire in that direction so uh, that's 
some important things to keep in um, keep in mind. Uh, here is the armor, belt 13.8 inch and deck is 3.8 inch, so that's the armor of the ship. Um, the torpedoes, I don't really know much about. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up, How? but the range is pretty good. I mean the range is about two and a half nautical miles, so it's pretty good range. I guess for the time um, so they have three three um, tubes I mean three um, loaded on each side three um, torpedoes basically All right what else you got load save you have uh, smoke most ships can actually fire like smoke when they're traveling they'll, they'll create a smoke screen and a smoke screen around the ship uh, very good, I guess, tactic-wise, if you move stuff, if, if you're being shot at and being targeted, you want to cover the ship, you can move maybe destroyers to create smoke screens, and the enemy won't be able to shoot at your ship. So that's the uh, main thing there. Inhibit firing. That means it won't fire, I guess. Firing logic. Okay, you can turn, you can turn this in. It's on automatic. It's manual fire on small ships, okay. Let's just leave it as it is. Um, you can place markers. Uh, this is for ships that, uh, for instance, if they disappear, you can't see them anymore. You can place the last location where they were, sort of type something, and keep track of where ships are moving. We don't have any aircrafts on board, I think. We don't have any aircraft carriers. We just have battleships here. And um, just some different, uh, yeah, quick to get to the general help and manual and stuff there. So that's basically it. Uh, another important thing is uh, one of my ships had the FUMO 21 radar. Uh, see that uh, there's like a there's like a purple uh, sphere. Uh, that is. If we were fighting at night, let's say, and visibility is very low, this radar would pick up anything in within this range here. So uh, it's the FUMO 21, I guess. So, yeah, since I only have one ship that's actually equipped with radar, it was kind of new at the time here, I guess. Uh, not many of the German ships had radar at the start here. Not even the big battleship has, but the, this uh, destroyer has radar. And um, they're all moving there. Yes, they have 150 millimeter guns. Um, let's see. So that is a forward port and starboard gun on that ship. It has a port and starboard. So it has a turret somewhere in the middle, I think can only fire at the sides and it has actually two guns that can fire in the back so that's good to know uh, and, and, and port and starboard I guess uh, this one is the same so they seem to have higher firepower in the back for some reason and port and starboard yeah they yeah but uh, so they can fire at ships trying to chase them down, I guess. That's, that armament is the same. They also have, uh, these have, they have torp torpedoes as well, these ships. And I don't know what that is. 18 times, I'm going to have to look that up, what that is. He's got mines. They can lay mines as well. Oh, I think they are, uh, there are um, depth charges. It's got to be. That gotta be depth charges, yeah. They have depth charges for taking out subs. And they can lay mines, apparently. Um, yeah, all of them. They're sort of the same class of ships there. Alright, so look at these guys. So we have Admiral Hipper. It also has... It has four guns. Uh, two, uh, 203 millimeter. This one has 280. 
and four guns that can fire forward and on the sides and four guns that can fire at the back as well and port and starboard uh, this one has same layout same guns it's heavy cruiser all right and we have um, the Leipzig class so what's this one has 350 millimeter guns in the front and two turrets in the back I guess interesting and uh, torpedoes and it can actually lay mines as well all right all right so that's the deal uh, what do we see so here's the British fleet we what can we see here we don't know we have well we think we can see some destroyers moving in and there are some uh, heavier ships here and they have a main battle cruiser up there it's interesting so they're sort of moving they're moving in in an eastern direction across here and we're coming up from this side so what to do um let's have some tactics here i guess uh i've read something about on tact and enabled tactics that you want to get something called the, the, the t formation basically uh, a good thing would be to if he's moving in here if we can quickly cut him off we'll have our broadside towards the enemy that means a lot of more of our guns can bear down on the enemy so we should sort of swing our formation upwards like this and sort of make him face okay he could swing his formation as well it would be a, a pretty nasty shootout but if we can bear that if we can if we can do that before him because he's almost within range we could probably cause some good damage hopefully um, the destroyers should probably speed ahead a bit keep going they, be, they would be good to, to uh, lay um, lay smoke screens and stuff if he gets too close you want to get close though uh because a gun they're not that very accurate i mean you fired salvos and uh, so the the tactics i guess was that they fired i think all nations had different kind of tactics and the you fired uh, a salvo and uh, that's a grouping of of shots so sort of because that could be seen from far away individual guns that fired and rounds that landed was very hard to spot actually from far distance you want to get big splashes so you you can direct your fire in that general direction where that ship is traveling and uh, i think you want to maintain quite high speed on your on your um, ships because apparently the slower they traveled the easier it was to hit them so you want to keep up the, the speed when you're in battle basically and um, what else I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes I think I've explained most of the stuff so the actual firing in the game you you, do, you don't control you don't you don't actually control the guns to fire the, fu the fire is basically automatic but you can you can select your targets of course but the the computer will select targets for you until you uh, maybe have some target that you really want to concentrate your fire on you can manually uh, choose the ships to fire at that target basically otherwise the uh, ai basically does it so what this is this is sort of an introductory scenario to to explain all the things i've just said but sort of to learn maneuverability, to maneuver your fleet, basically, is what, what this getting started is all about. Uh, so, uh, another thing is when to fire your your torpedoes, for instance, you, you got to hold down the, the control button to do that. 
Otherwise, if you want to choose a target to fire on, you just select your ship and you just right click on uh, that particular ship you want to fire at and the, your main guns will basically uh, bear down on that ship. All right, let's get this started here. Uh, so times one, we are now at real, real time here. All right, um, all right this is gonna be stressful. <laughs> Uh, all right, we got some destroyers coming in there. All right, I actually let's see if I turn the Scharnhorst. I wonder if the rest of my fleet will um, turn. You can, you can hear the shots. Somebody's firing at me now. Here's some rounds coming in. We're going for the Admiral Hipper. I don't think is that fleet turning. I don't think it is. Uh, is this going max speed? Oh, no. Okay, we're going max speed now. It looks like our ship is actually firing now. We're targeting that ship there. Enemies moving in within range. Okay, we're not turning. Uh, let's Start turning our fleet. Are we going max speed? We're not going max speed, alright. Let's see, let's concentrate our fire. That. We should be able to fire with all our guns soon. The destroyers are moving ahead. Are they going max speed? No, they're not. Okay, they're going max speed now. Uh, they're not within range. I think we could turn this ship even more. Uh, let's get them up there. Right, we should be able to fire with all our guns soon. See the shots being fired there? It's getting some shots up now. We're actually going for the DDs there. Uh, I mean, not the DDs, but the... We're not firing at the main battle. I wonder if that battle cruiser is it's actually in range. Let's switch targets to fire on that. I don't think we can I I don't think we can hit them. We gotta be careful as we don't run into our troops here. That ship is traveling kind kinda of dangerous there. Uh, I think we need to port uh, turn the ship. We haven't hit anything yet. Shit, we almost uh, ran into our ships there. Uh, I think we need to slow this ship down a bit. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, shit, we're gonna run into our ships here, man. Let's get it minimum speed there. Oh man! All right, uh, let's turn it even more. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, can I turn this? Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, almost collided there, man. Let's get max speed going. Oh, man! <laughs> All right. Let's get max speed on that. Wow, that was uh, bad. Now, what's this doing? Is this is he firing here? Let's go for the battle cruiser. Let's actually let's fire this. All 
by concentrating fire on that. Whoo! I'm not sure I get that back into the um, the fray there. Wow, what a mess. Uh, Alright, this is going to be tough to uh, understand, I guess. Uh, how are we doing here? Oh, we got hit. Admiral Hipper is... We got hit. Oh, shit. We're going to collide here. <laughs> um, we don't want to... What was going on, man? All right, we're not hitting anything. Um, oh man, I think we're going to collide again here. Jeez. Closest the enemy here. Yeah, we're still really far behind here. Enemy CA is hit. Okay, we, we have actually managed to hit that. Turn this the Sean Horst. Alright, uh hundred percent it says. That ship is damaged. I wanna get my broadside on that. Are we all firing? Okay, hold on here. Uh, Hipper, he's not firing anything. I don't think he can because all these ships are blocking his view there. All right, he, he can go for the. Um, he's going for that. All right, he's going for that. Looks like we lost sight of one of those destroyers. Can't see that. Those destroyers are getting quite close. We gotta hit, we hit something. DDZ23. Oh, it's my ship, got hit. Alright, uh, looks like he's popping smoke there. Okay. Alright, who's firing at what here? Sean Horse was hit, 0%. Alright. Just, just concentrating that battle cruiser in there. Okay, uh. K 
can't see much. I don't know what that beeping sound is. Is that... Are there... Sean horses hit again? Maybe those are torpedoes? Who's firing at what? He's firing at the battleship. I wonder if we can target the battleship there. No, we can't see it. Everybody seems to be firing at the um, battle cruiser now. Go max speed. Maybe we should go for some closer targets like that. Ah, uh, enemy CL was hit. All right. Can't hit it. Concentrate on that. Can't spot that battle cruiser. Light damage. It looks like his his uh, destroyers are moving away there. Okay, we, we're having a major attack going on here now. Uh, it's probably there. Everybody's firing at this ship, apparently. It's going 30, uh, 30 knots. Should be able to hit that ship. What's going on here? Come on, hit it. I think they're a bit far away as well. You gotta, you gotta have some pretty close uh, range to the enemy. Oh, shit, we got hit again. I didn't take any damage. Um, let's see if we can do a group port side there. Got hit again. Let's turn towards the enemy a bit. Just won't hit that ship, man. Maybe we should switch targets. Nope. No luck, man. There's another beeping sound again. Come on, hit it. Get hit again. Hmm. 
Alright, so let's turn our ship around a bit. We can finally hit that uh, CL. Still only has light damage though. He's going for the Sean horse. Got hit again. It's not going that great. Come on. We need close distance, I guess. Where are those destroyers? They're down here somewhere. Could try and send the main battleship going here. We really need to close the distance there. When we hit that uh, ship again. Still only got light damage to it. Oh, we're hitting again. Still only light damage on it. Can't fire with the Blisho. Let's try to get a bit closer again. See, the enemy's trying to get away there. Got us again. We hit the CL. It's just light damage. Okay, those destroyers there. Let's go for them. They're popping smoke down there. Ooh, we hit again. Still only light damage. He's moving at 30 knots. 29 knots on the main battleship there, all right. Um, man, he's he keep hitting my... Uh, this is uh, my main ship. I want to get some more guns to bear down here. Keep hitting it. Still only light damage on it. Alright, let's see if we can straighten these ships up a bit. Okay, we hit again. I think we're getting closer now. Oh, we got hit. Uh, oh, we got a bad hit in our ship here. He's popping the smoke. Right, let's get, move towards the enemy again. 
Let's attack his main battle uh, cruiser. He's popping the smoke there. We can't see that target. The Blisha was hit. That's not good. We are moving slightly faster. Okay, he's got his little uh, destroyer out there now. Maybe he can. Maybe this ship here can deal with the destroyers. Maybe he has uh, ran out of the smoke there or something. Let's hammer that battle cruiser. Can't see it. So we can only fire six guns at it at right now. Lots of rounds coming in there. Ah, oh, we missed. a big salvo coming in. Nope. It's the range. It's still long range. I think we need to get it without within 3,000 or something. Okay, we hit this battle cruiser. No damage. So I want to get the ship uh, in line with these. Right, I'm going to get this on starboard. It's taking some time to turn these big beasts. We hit the bad cruiser again. Turn this as well. You can't fire in there. Woo! We just sunk the battle cruiser, man. We got a critical hit. Yeah! Who the hell did that? We just sunk his battle cruiser, man. Nice. We just sunk it, man. <laughs> Lucky shot, I guess. Okay, we're just laying down rounds. Target that. Target is invalid. All right, so I, I don't think we can target the destroyers with our um, bigger ships. Target is invalid for firing ship. All right, so here he is. He's trying to get away here. Wow, I can't believe we just uh, took out the took it out, man. He's, he's popping smoke here like nuts. He's trying to get away. Yeah, he's firing there. Just hit the uh, medium damage. Nice.
Yeah, they're firing at that. Let's concentrate fire on that destroyer. I, guess, I think they're all firing. Okay, he's firing it. He just hit that. He's running away. Yeah. Okay, we can't attack it. Get on a port side of it. I would just hit that destroyer again. Flooding? Yeah! I'm not sure what that beeping sound is. Enemy is disabled. Alright. Heavy damage. Ooh. That means we could take it out. Let's get starboard going there. Alicia? Oh. Alright, he's going for them. Should be going for that. Okay, there is another ship moving in there. We could sink that ship. Oh, he's moving in with another ship there. That that ship should be a sitting duck. Heavy damage. And we should go for this. Can't target that. All right, we're going for these main ships there. Let's go for that. I should target that ship now. Concentrated volume there. Um, hopefully, we can take this this out. Nope. All right, we're almost out of time. Got about two minutes left. I guess we could speed out the last minutes. Oh, we hit it. Nice. It's like damage. I think they're all targeting that. Okay, he's targeting that. Can't see the oh, that ship is in the way there. Yeah, so this is what it's all about, man. You got to maneuver your ships and stuff <laughs> hard. All right, so we've taken some light damage. He's really speeding away here, man. Be able to concentrate fire on this. Admiral Hipper is hit. God damn it, he actually hit me there. They're all within our secondary armament. So, how do you do? Can you. Maybe if I right click. Oh, yeah, that's the. Um, torpedoes there. I think they're automatically firing with their uh, 
secondary armaments. So he's firing there. Okay, you can't see it. Alright, time limit, recent scenario. Alright. Wow, okay. Look at that. Uh, victory dialogue. Sunken battleships won. We actually... S the Allied actually lost a battleship. And it was sunk. So, 84,200 times one. Is that 84,000 tons? Not sure. And we did sink a destroyer as well. Wow. We damaged a cruiser. Uh, Alright, and we took some damage on our battle cruiser, on our battleship there. And we took damage on some cruisers, and we took damage on a. It says sunken others, the lighter ships there. We took some damage there. Only very low damage though. Minus 881 it was an Allied major defeat. Yeah, we did sink a, a battleship and a, and, a, and, a, and a cruiser there. Or a, it says others. Yeah. Yeah. But the battle cruiser was the main prize, man. We just took it out. I wonder what kind of ship it was. Be fun to know. Axis victory. Yeah. Will it say here? It won't say. Um. I think it will switch back to the uh, normal one here let's have a look last hit yeah we got hit there what's this large picture oh look at that sweet Okay, there's actually a plane on that? Okay, uh, you can tell I don't know much about ships. <laughs> um, yeah, they have a little, I think there are those uh, torpedo planes or spotter planes or something. Maybe I could have launched one of those. Okay, they had something called the Cossack. That ship was actually damaged as well. All right, and the Tata, they're all damaged. Zulu, oh, the Zulu was in really bad shape. They're at 43%. And there was nothing here. What about the, the Berwick? It was damaged, slightly damaged. The Suffolk was actually in 100%. The Birmingham was in in a bad shape. It was pretty damaged. Cool. Right, so that's it. It's naval campaigns, man. Kriegsmarine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so that was... I, I probably will... Uh, I probably will try s another scenario with uh, depicting his submarines. And we can have a look at that. If you guys want that, just type, type in the comments there and stuff. I hope it was somewhat learning experience here. Um, I think we went over the basics. Yeah, this, this, this is a different uh, uh, menu here, but you have uh, the same sort of stuff that was on the other ones, on the other one. You do have this grid you can put out to measure uh, distances. I think that's like a one, one nautical mile, yeah, between these. So you can have that grid out. Um, not sure what that is. What's that? Soundings. All right. You can turn the, the names off. You can turn the, the groupings. You had a couple of detached chips since I was moving them individually. And that is ship aircraft. That's the speeds. This is the damage. I did have some damage on two, a couple of ships there. 
This one was in the worst shape. One of the destroyers they're gonna hit. And uh, last hit. All right, you have the last hit there. Aircrafts on board. Maybe I don't have any aircrafts on board there. Maybe it's because it's grayed out. Could be. Not sure. Sean Horst. Yeah. So there's a larger picture of the ship there. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, could I get a picture of the British ships as well? What about this? The Berwick. Yeah, look at that. Nice. And uh, zoom in and commander units. Okay. Highly damaged. Yeah. Nice. But I do actually prefer to play with the um, the alternate interface. Actually, it looks kind of cool. So that was it. I'm going to end it here. This video is probably an hour long now. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. So... Um, Probably will post another one, uh, trying to trying out uh, some with the submarines. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So uh, I want to thank you for watching, dear man, and I'll see you the next one. Have a good one.